Hey guys, Jason with DLT Trading. I'm here at the Bark River Grind Inn. I have the pleasure to sit down with Daniel Suji. Daniel is a very talented custom knife maker from Lower Michigan, Lower Michigan by way of Puerto Rico, correct? That's correct. That's where you grew up? That's where I grew up, in Puerto Rico. And you moved to Northern Lower Michigan, correct? I did. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and about what age? Um, I was about, shoot, 32. Okay. So. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so those of you that, that don't know, Northern Lower Michigan is a very, very beautiful area. Mm -hmm. One of the big um, state forests is the Pigeon River State Forest, correct? Yeah, the Pigeon River State Forest, absolutely. And so you've got a knife named after the Pigeon River State Forest, which is the Pigeon River Hunter. That's right. That is a production knife, correct? It is going to be a production yeah, knife, so yes. a production knife uh, that, quite frankly, when I look at it, looks like a fully custom knife. Awesome, awesome hidden tang knife. Has the lines very much of a loveless drop point hunter, but is hidden tang. It's hidden tang. Full four finger grip on it. Full grip on it. Uh, lightweight, so you can take it into the backpacking with you and everything. Nice and lightweight. Um, one of the things that um, people will say about hidden tangs is they're not strong enough. Strong enough for what? What are you doing with the knife? If it's a hunting knife, I grew up with hidden tang knives. They're my favorite. Uh, as a hunting knife, it just I love the balance. I love the feel. I love the lightweight. Look, I'm Absolutely. not. I'm not getting any younger. I'm not getting any skinnier. So. Yeah. Anywhere I can shave a few ounces off of my pack, I'm happy. So I love hidden tangs. They just, they're also iconic, I think, to uh, a lot of your historic patterns were hidden tang knives, right? Stick tangs. Absolutely. Um, so beautiful, beautiful knife, the, the Pigeon River Hunter. Um, and this one is going to be available in CPM 154 and 3V, correct? And 3V, that's yep. right. Uh, and as he said, uh, nice and thin behind the edge. Absolutely. An absolute razor uh, for a hunting knife. So, um, when approximately would you guess these would be coming to market? Uh, I'm hoping before the end of the year. Okay, so look for the Pigeon River Hunter before the end of the year, 2023. And then you've also got a collaboration with Bark River Knives, correct? Absolutely. And that one is coming uh, probably third quarter of this year, I think. It's yep. coming up pretty this quick. One, it's on the list. It's uh, already ground, heat treated. It's on its way uh, to get getting finished, absolutely. And so, we'll, DLT will have both of these. Um, looking forward to that one, and, th and this one is the Hilby. This is the Hilby, correct? Um, and then, so this one is a full tang. It's full tang. Yep. Uh, full tang with a guard. With a guard, yes. Full tang with a guard. Um, steel on this one. Uh, we're going to be running crew wear on that one. Crew wear, love yeah, it. Absolutely. Love crew wear. Um, a lot of people will ask, um, you know, what do you think of crew wear? I think when you look at the steel charts, or if you use crew wear. It does just about everything very good, right? Very it well has, balanced steel. It has plenty of toughness, really good edge retention, corrosion resistance. Yeah, I mean, it's you don't want to take it in salt water, right? Right. But it does everything very good. I love, love crew wear. So great choice on that. Uh, and these will be available at DLT Trading as well as our friends over at Knife Ship Free, uh, produced uh, as a collaboration between Daniel and Bark River Knives. Uh, really looking forward to this one as well. Nice, nice, comfortable handle. Absolutely. That was one of the first things I loved about this was a full, ample handle. Absolutely. So especially guys with really big hands, they're going to love this one. For sure. Daniel, is there anything that you'd like to add in, in closing before we wrap up here? Um, not a whole lot. Just uh, I'm big on the custom knife making. Uh, everything that comes out of this shop is handmade, hand forged. And so to be able to have a collaboration that's easily accessible to everybody is, is very important to me. So this is for you guys out there that would like to get a hold of one of, one of my designs. Yeah, so it's it's a great way to try a piece of, of Daniel's artistry, if you will, uh, but also check out his customs. I personally own one. Uh, really love a lot of your um, uh, Asian influence stuff, your, your, your swords and things like that. Um, you do some of your own foraging right or probably all of your own forging right yep. in your shop. Absolutely. You also have a neighbor that does some Damascus. You've got some really cool things going on there. Uh, and for the upper Midwest, people are familiar with the mighty Mackinac Bridge. Oh, yeah. You actually have a really cool product that you make, right? That's right. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, I am known here in Michigan. I, it's a little bit of a landmark, uh, the Mackinac Bridge. And I purchased a bunch of the grading material that they used to drive across. So I take that and I fold it into steel and make Damascus with it. So I have Mackinac Bridge Great Damascus, and it's very iconic, very well known, and it's just a cool product. Yeah, piece, so of, piece of Michigan history. If you're a, a Michigan guy or whatever, check that out. Um, you know, I grew up making a lot of trips over the Mackinac Bridge. Probably drove over those exact grates that you've right. now folded and turned into knives. Beautiful Damascus, really unique, neat story with it. 
Daniel, it's been a real pleasure talking with you today. We Thanks, really Jason. look forward to seeing your these two knives come to market as well as some future projects with you. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you.